So I am experimenting with these stamps that I got from Loveland. So unfortunately, I don't have all my materials with me, like these big acrylic blocks to do a lot of stamping. So I'm improvising and I'm doing the best I can. Most of my stuff is still in storage, but I'm working with these beautiful stamps, inking them up and putting them on just plain craft paper because I'm going to make some really pretty pieces, some nice tags and journal cards with them. And right now I am just getting the ephemera down so you can all see how nicely these stamp. I'm just working on some craft paper. I did stamp on this piece of paper. This is just an old waffle um, box, freezer waffles. And I like to just incorporate any kind of junk that I have and repurpose things. I am going to watercolor these. I am using this um, ink. This is one of my favorite inks by Palette. It's Noir Black. And it's great because you can watercolor on top of them and nothing will smudge and i've been going through all the stamps that i showed you in the last video there's quite a few of them i'm going to stamp a couple more spaces on here and then um do some watercolors and i'll briefly show you my method i'll cut them out and in the next video i'm going to show you what i actually do of everything all this ephemera that i make what do I actually do with all the pieces other than maybe keep them in storage for a little while? But these stamps work beautiful. I've been very impressed with them. Gorgeous. I haven't tried these stamps yet. Let's do a couple of these before I close out the video. I'll show you how nicely they are. There's the backs of them. This was quite the stamp haul, so. And I like to wipe some of those smudges off before I actually go down on the paper. That's just something I try to do. It's not something I necessarily do on everything. Let's see how these look. Really pretty, wow. Let's try one more before I shut out the video. And then I'll get to, um, applying some color on here and cutting them up. Nice, very nice. Let's just do one more. My uh, son is holding the camera for me and he's doing such a great job. I do have to improvise in the space that I'm in. <laughs> I don't have a studio or even a craft room. I just work in the corner of a room. These stamps are very impressive. I am actually loving this set. We'll do one more because I do a couple more because I see some space over here. Let me just focus right in there and we get a couple more of these because these are absolutely really nice. None of the, well a little bit of the border showed up there. So that is the set, the, all the stamps I got from Globaland. It is hard to actually show you everything, but this is the first part of the process of getting everything down on the paper. These were the, um, from that large sheet of tickets and old invoices, and this is from the other set. Okay guys, I will, color these up and show you the end product and then we'll go to the next video when I show you what I do with them. I'm going to go ahead and stamp up this set just to show you what it looks like. I um, thought these stamps were pretty decent. I, I like the quality of this stamp better but this was definitely decent. You know the stamping it does show some of the edges which you know you can get rid of 
or you can keep it in it just depends but i think the quality is very nice it's very subtle and it's definitely a really cute set to have and i actually found that the stamp this one then it's over to the side more stamps the best because i'm only gonna Try to ink up that side and i really like that one that's that one's my favorite they're all really nice it's definitely a good set to have in your collection and i'm not disappointed with it's a very nice it's really nice um i think this is definitely a good set to have in your collection you can do all sorts of things with it. And then I will show you how I, my next video, what am I going to do with all this stuff, right? <laughs> what am I going to do? I don't know. Question of the day. So I've been playing around with the stamps and this set right here is one of my favorites. I'm going to go ahead and ink up ink them up and show you each one individually. This time I'm going to use some white paper and um, you can see how pretty it is. So I showed you how I stamp it. I, I sped it up, but this is the finished product. It came out really nice. So I just wanted you to take a look. And now I am going to decorate everything and show you the finished product. So I'm going to close out the video, guys, showing you some of the things that I watercolored with, with these beautiful stamps. I did have a video where I actually showed you the painting process, but I decided to delete it. It was really uh, not necessary for you guys to watch me do some painting, and it added extra time to this video, which actually went over more than I wanted it to, but this is just a quick process video of the stamps from Global Land and some of them that I used and uh, painted for ephemera. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you so choose. And um, have a great day, guys.